The last month has been stressful. We have been trying to make this day perfect. Ironing out wrinkles while new ones keep appearing out of nowhere. Here we are, halfway through the day. And it's already perfect. Because I'm getting married to you. And that's the most important thing. message that pops into my head is don't cry. I'm a little nervous, but I think if I see you, I think my nervousness will melt away. I'm just I'm just excited to start to start my life with you. That's it. I'm just really excited and happy. See you at the altar. I can't wait to see you in your dress. And I was really excited because I said to my best friend that um, he's so funny siya, tas and he's so No time I didn't know what to expect. My, my fantasy, my ideal boyfriend was like Zac Efron in Seventeen again. So um, I was imagining him like driving up in a flashy red convertible and coming out wearing like a snug white t-shirt and jeans with a leather jacket and aviator shades. You know, and he pulls up in a really beat up old um, 92 Mitsubishi Lancer. I was not very impressed at first sight. Wait, before we head into Starbucks, he smiles at me. And his smile kind of made me give him a chance because he has a really sweet smile that makes his eyes crinkle. No, I saw him, like, the first thing I remember is the bright light of his face. A few days ago, I came across a Facebook post <laughs> explaining the word tahanan. It is commonly used to refer to one's house, or in Tagalog, bahay. But if you look at the root word tahan, you see that it takes on a deeper meaning. Tahan, to cease crying, or pagtigil ng iyak. So the Facebook post asked this question, Nasaan ka tuwing kumihinto ang duha mo? Ang sagot ko, nasa feeling mo. Salamat sa pagiging tahanan ko. Mahal na mahal kita. <laughs> <laughs> 